Squats. Squats. Oh, Where's the slow roll, though? Where's the slow roll? Boy, oh boy. I feel like I can only beat King Jack. I finally flopped the set. It took me all day. Nice Welcome to the game, Phil. Oh, he is out. I thought he was bucking. Oh, let Phil get lucky. Yum, yum. Just like getting cheated. Put in 600 with 5-6. And just flop the flush. Check fold there by Randy Liu. Button's going to move over here to Maria Ho. Yeah, we're playing 25-15. No limit hold'em in Las Vegas. And Phil Helmuth's got pocket rockets, and he is going to raise it up here. If you noticed, everyone's been raising rather small. And Scott Ball's got pocket eights behind Helmuth. 150 and a call. Boy, you can imagine if Scott Ball hits his set. Oh, wow, look at that flop, queen seven. And he checks it, wow, Helmuth has checked the flop and Ball is gonna bet, he's not gonna slow play it. He bets right out, he bets 350 and Helmuth is just gonna check call it looks like. Turn here is a 10. Helmuth has just check called here on the flop. Scott is not going to slow play, he's gonna continue to build the pot up as he should in a cash game. Jack-9 now gets there. 6-9 now gets there. Looks like he's bet 800 now here on the turn. Into a pot of about 1175 or 1075. I mean, is Helmuth thinking of check raising now? Oh, and he is all in. He's going to check raise all in here on the turn. And there is, I mean, the way that this is played, I don't think there's any way that Scott Ball is going to fold. He makes an insta call, and Helmuth's aces gets cracked. And let's see. And Phil's going to call for more chips. And he's going to raise the very, very next hand. He makes it 150. That's probably part of the strategy of why Helmuth only buys in for the minimum. I mean, he only loses. Now, this time, Randy loses the one with aces. Helmuth is going to open it here for 150, and you know that Randy's going to come back over the top after him. He's going to three bet it here. He's going to make it 450 to go. I mean, Helmuth only buying in for 5,000 at a time. He's only going to be able to lose 5,000 at a time. Wow, that's a pretty good flop there for Jack Nine of Diamonds. 10 7 5. Helmuth flopped a flush draw and a gut shot here. He checks, and Randy makes a bet here. And Phil's going to play it slow. He just calls with his big draw. Turn here is a deuce. Pot is over 2,000 now. Randy does have the Ace of Diamonds in his hand, too. And Phil could lose another big one here, back to back. And obviously, Randy's cutting out chips. He's not going to give a free card, and he's going to bet here again. But it seems like it's Phil's MO that he plays these draws pretty passively. Looks like he's just going to check call here once again. 1,025 is the bet, just a half pot size bet, and he calls once again. The river's a five. And obviously Randy's gonna bet here and Phil's just gonna check fold. And you know, we'll, we'll see if he actually shows. I'm gonna go so far as to say if he's gonna, he's probably gonna show. Yep, there he is. He shows everyone. He's, he's trying to get sympathy from Elkie. And of course, Randy Liu gets a good shot at him, you know, just a legend in online poker, multi-tabling, uh, you know, so many tables of uh, mid-stakes online poker. Oh, this time Dan's not going to 3-bet, he's going to call. And again, you know, you see Locke open here, 225 with a unorthodox hand, 7-3 suited. Helmuth is also going to call it here with pocket good. deuces from behind.
And Maria, imagine that she's going to show it if she wins it, but Helmuth's going to call. Helmuth is going to call. Now, those yellow chips are $1,000 chips, so he's about eight or 9,000 deep. He makes a pretty big call here for you know, another 1,100 more, and she flops the best of it with a pair of sevens. The pot is 3,000 now. I mean, you imagine she's going to see that here and take it down unless Helmuth just does not believe her at all, but... You know, she hasn't really messed around pre-flop here so far today. She bets out here. 1,700, and he calls. And he is trying to one out. Turn is the four of hearts. Could make a running flush here, though, as well. Pot is now just under 6,500. If you're, you know, Maria Ho, you got to be scared when Helmuth calls you pre-flop and then calls your flop bet. She checks. Eleven hundred. He bets eleven hundred. It sounds like. Eleven hundred into sixty four seventy five. <laughs> and she calls with the best hand. And this might get Helmuth to blast off if this goes check check at the end here. If she wins with seven deuce, the river's a king. Check check, let's see it. She's got a sly grin on her face. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Bounties? Yep, there they are. <laughs> there they are. I knew it. <laughs> as long as you don't care. Todd yeah. five days in a row in a mixed game, he doesn't lose. Like, Unless he's playing like that. Are you playing like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a way to shut him down. Sometimes I do that yep. too. Sometimes I play that. Maybe we're just playing too small for Todd, you know? Could be, yeah. Is that what it is? Todd has played in some of the biggest cash games in history. Doing it. Oh. Kate Hall makes it 650 I'm, with I'm ace queen. I want the donkey to look at themselves right now. What does it mean when I just snap mm. it in there? Like, I don't know. It means you're trying to keep me in this damn thing. <laughs> I assume it means yeah, different right? things, different okay. times. Beard looks good, though. 650 yeah. total. Up against their two actual hands, All Dennis right. isn't doing too badly. I know. It's going good. If I can make full house over full house, I think this time I'm going to get paid. You might. You might. Yeah. Pretty players. Okay, it all started with the best hand. Flops the best hand. And Phil's caught his nine. So he may lose a little here. Maybe we'll see one of his classic white magic folds. Why couldn't you turn over a set of jacks? I'm gonna feel a lot better. Make it 18. Right 18. Nope. Well, that should get rid of Dennis Phillips, and so now back to Kate Hall. I think the move here for Kate is to smooth call, even though I can see the whole cards. It's just so unlikely that Phil has a queen, and when he does, he's probably not gonna raise it. So you don't want to chase him out of this pot. Either way, you look strong now. Wow. Man. I thought I had the stone cold yeah, nuts, now I have to wonder. Now I'm confused. How does a full right. house sound? That one's scared. Sounds me. much better than a bad two pair. Kate decided she can't get three full streets, so takes the turn off. Wow, this is really cold. Going for her value here on the river. 32. 32. Did you really get that lucky? 
You probably wouldn't bet kings. Kings are no good. Probably wouldn't bet jacks. I can beat those too. You're a tournament player, so you love to bluff. My instincts say I'm supposed to put it in. You're not bad enough to call a race with ace-king on the flop, are you? Maybe. Tournament players do weird things. Needler with the tournament player jab. Why would you bluff? Logic's messing me up here. I call. Sorry, Phil. I would have called as well, Phil. Yeah, I would have. She played it well. Well, she's a tournament player, so I know. I'm not we... a tournament player. All right. Who wants a piece of me? Come on. Choctaw, about an hour or so, just northeast uh, of Dallas. I thought you said this was in Oklahoma. We are in Oklahoma. Dallas is in Texas. We're real close to the border. Let's build a pot. Kings for Carroll. Now, he says he's playing this hand blind. I'm starting to wonder if he's looking at more hands quickly that we don't see with, like, some sleight of hand or something. There's my buddy. Oh, all right, here he comes. Just to run this hot in general, let alone during your blind oh. hands, is pretty bizarre. Right? OK, you want me to go first? Sure. Right. Let me see what the flop is first. About 500 in the dark. I'm hoping that's my kind of flop. Well, this is looking like a Phil kind of flop. I'm gonna look at this one here. That's fair. Well, if he didn't look before, he's certainly selling it now. He's loving what he saw. Check. 13. Especially with somebody betting into him. Look at the other one. This looks like a good spot for a raise, I think, with an overpair. Raise. Uh, okay, I won't fold. What do you raise? 13. 13, I snap. I don't know what you just snap. Phil ends the calls. We're just over 3,000 now. 1750 more? Is Jack's good? If I have them, they would be. Check. Queen changes nothing. Bet 12 and a snap call. Is that binding? I don't see Phil betting this again. Oh, I'm supposed to pull the trigger and move it. I guess Are I'll you? check. You will take the free river. And, yep. Brick, brick for Phil. What'd you say about uh, Jack's? <laughs> Want to see my blind hand? This time, right? I'll let you know. Twenty-five fifty of the you blinds bet. here in this game. <laughs> Optional hundred dollar straddle, which comes under the gun. You want me to look? I'll look. Yeah, Helmuth and Phillips both share diamonds. I'm on the button. I'm supposed to have a hand here, right? Yep. I'm gonna check. Checks around. Oh, boy. Phil turns the second nuts and he's drawing dead. That was 400 and one call. Does Dennis Phillips still own that truck dealership because he is about to sell Phil Helmuth some undercoating? You know, it's a pretty good price for this car. 
But I think you're gonna wanna pay this. Cool. Good hand, mine was better. Oh, I won a pot with this hand earlier. 325. Crazy. All right, this will wake me up a little bit. Phil Helmuth must have been up late last night partying. Stapes, who was he partying so with last won, night? Like, five or six uh, let's see, so if I remember his Twitter correctly, it was Hugh Jackman, Benedict Cumberbatch, and the Hamburglar. That is a fun foursome. Uh, I really wanted to fold his in. I just can't do it now. Peter, can you, huh? Off we are to pick up the blinds and in this game, boys and girls. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I get to go first and do the continuation bluff. There it is. We are five ways to this flop. And it checks around. Who even has the best hand? That would be Dennis Phillips oh. flopping a set of fives. And turning a bow to fives. But maybe more importantly, Six. that gives Phil Helmuth the second nut flush, which is why he's betting 600. 600. Smooth call from Dennis. Phil said a little earlier tonight that he's never been able to really run good against Dennis Phillips, and it seems like that is continuing. And it looks like he is gonna fire into the abyss. 13 on. 1300 Phil is all in. Okay. King high flush. Is this a f joke? Wow. <laughs> you gotta appreciate the honesty. One of my favorite stories is about what you did for your friends when you won the, oh. uh, when you, one of your, one of your companies went public. Oh, you're talking about the year of Roger Cruise? Yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> well, don't leave us hanging. Tell us. <laughs> it's, it's really good. There's something that Phil Helmuth is very good at. It is pulling information out of people and putting people on the spot to say something. He's also really good at getting run down. He's a 76% favorite here. Make that 91% favorite. It's a story of a girl named Brady. Oh. Who was raising two suited but not so good cards. One of them was the same as her opponent. Both of them in hearts. All right, she picks up a little help on the turn. You know, I was just joking before about Phil getting run down, but it is looking significantly more likely. Well, Esther Taylor Brady was bluffing with the first bet. Now it's a semi-bluff, a bet here on the turn. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I say I get no enjoyment of watching Phil get run down, but I just laughed, so I'm not sure what that means. And you were the one who said oh. he gets run down a lot at the very beginning oh, of this hand. Poker so, which is it, buddy boy? He just does. I'm gonna be so disappointed if she had like the jack ten of hearts and was just stone cold dead the whole hand. <laughs> oh my God. You're not far off, buddy boy. What a joke. Really tough spot for Phil, because I know she's totally capable of doing this with absolute air. And Phil's totally capable of making good laydowns. I have the big pair. Nice fold. You can show me a bluff, you I don't mind. Yeah, and? Is that a four, <laughs> four of hearts four diamonds? Four, four, of hearts. four of hearts. Probably an ace four of hearts. I and then betting river doesn't look like a bluff. Yeah, so you actually sure. get a 10 to fold a lot. Yeah, that's a really good good observation. And also the other good thing about that that you mentioned is a really, really good analysis is that you you get to see what he does on the river. So like if he checks the river after I check the turn, then you know that, you know, it's really likely he has a bluff catcher like 9x or 10x, and you know, you could bet and get mm. a <laughs> Leave that to you, Phil. 
Yeah. This is our first dance. Five. For the, uh, the time pilot. Are we all the time? Yeah. I thought you said that too. Yeah, we'll leave that too. What are you doing? I checked, yes. Oh, that's a bet. <laughs> Feels like the chips are getting louder and louder. <laughs> Crank it up. I can't hear these <laughs> chips well enough, Brian. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Let's see if Chris falls. How many fucking beats do I take in this fucking game in two days? It's let's see so how, crazy. Let's see how bad they're It's like they're trying to give me the money. It's so <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> it really is. I'm only 24, <laughs> Phil. I don't know any better. Oh, I know. I got it. <laughs> I talked you into it anyway. I always talk you guys into playing bad against me. You did all the talking after I did the calling, though. No, I had to like I had to study an extra 15 seconds to bet the turn to look weak. I mean, I did everything so well that you guys have never even thought of before. <laughs> like everything. Like, I know exactly how you're going to react. Please, how can I milk him for the extra money? He probably has a five. Achievement unlocked. Have Jack Penn, so he's completely dead. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Raise from Bond, called by Daniels, called by Helmuth. I swear, I'm not kidding when I say this. I really think the world has the opposite read on it. It's a good spot to be in. It really is. Kind of an optimistic bet here by Bond. Use the pre flop raise where you get called in three spots and the board comes out like this and he's like, whatever. You're not going to get a ton of folds. <laughs> right, I'm betting anyway. You're not going to get all of the folds, which is what you want. So we got a, re, uh, a bet, a raise from Ite. So I'm sorry, a raise from Daniels. Helmuth calls. I mean, we're all rooting for a king, right, on the turn. Can't stop, won't time. stop. Abby Press. Daniels, in Press. your face. <laughs> Nothing to it. You have to eat more, yeah. Yeah. more protein. Well, eights and sevens was not a favorite on the Do you eat like eggs and stuff like that, or? Oh, no, no, I will be growing I, dead if you have I heard that's good for like. I'll eat like. You're playing every hand, so you could have five, six. There's 3,800 in there, and he's got what? 1,800? Struggle for every. 2,000? Oh, or something like that, and he lays it go. Holds it. Oh, show the bluff. Show, show the bluff. Don't show him. Oh, Don't show, show him. the bluff. Don't show him. Don't do it. Come on. ET has got everyone bluff. dominated. No, not exactly. Helmuth dominated, Fakian dominated, and of course the jack flops. So now Helmuth is dominated. That is correct. Shit. Ace Queen hasn't really been uh, working out for folks today, especially Phil Helmuth. There goes Ite. And Helmuth is committed to losing a couple of more bucks in this pot. Check. Check is good. Bet. Well. Yeah, you check. Oh, so it's a folded check then. See, at first he was like, okay, good hand. And then he was like, oh, man, I just remembered how bad I've been running today. So, you I know. know. I know. I think you're Ladies love Matt. 
Second time he's picked him up. <laughs> Mike and this and we'll start to straddle a little bit more. Larry Friendly says, Tuckman, why don't you take the next open seat and demand to play PLO? I'm suspecting that he is uh, making fun of me. Mm. Mm. They usually are. Yeah, my, my PLO game is not fantastic. I'm not going to lie. But I always point out, if you walk into a casino and you see me playing PLO, that means the game is really, really get a, good. Get a seat. Yeah, you're going to see it, because I'm in the game for a reason. So how many is three bet? Ace king. Tilly's probably going to call this. I mean, she no, doesn't. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. The cash game, I like to mess oh, around. Oh, if Phil was all in, that's why. Okay, that makes more sense. So this went, this went raise, three bet. Affleck actually, so in raise, call, three bet, four bet, and then fold. Because I actually thought, if Affleck just calls, I do think she comes along for the ride. Got a race here, like tacos versus burritos. One of these hands has a slight mathematical advantage. Look at her at twice, it looks like, at least twice. <laughs> Queen's in the lead right now. You ready to play? How about now, Phil? <laughs> Affleck has to avoid an ace or a king on the river. To win half this pot. Right. It's always nice when you're free rolling going into the second one. And that is what's happening for Matt Affleck. Actually, the reason I lost 106. Phil, of course, uh, part of my favorite poker hand of all time, the run it four times hand, where Phil lost three out of four as a 91% favorite, I believe. Oh, and there's the ace, but there's the queen. And uh, Helmuth now is a gut yeah, shot. Needs supposed to say, oh, he had the ace. Yeah. And neither player with a heart in their hand. Hearts are irrelevant. Not a Helmuth looking for a 10, and that is not a 10. So Phil felt it. Let's run it one more time. How many times can I I wrote Dan, Dan O'Brien's porn name if you want to read that one. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that and the, uh, oh, the oh, begrudging, oh, begrudging oh, reasons. We've all been there. Oh, and the <laughs> grinding oh, erection oh, to the back of a gross between these I got to read you the one that I couldn't say on the air. <laughs> Show you the one. <laughs> oh, I'll say it. <laughs> Oh, Missy with the flush draw. Okay, this is fun. And this is a spot where I think everyone pretty much feels this way. I mean, I personally like Phil Helmuth a lot, but I always want him to lose. And I don't feel bad about that. It's not my fault, but it's just way funnier when he loses. That's on him for the way he behaves. And there's a handful of guys like that. I mean, Mike Dentali, um, you know, Phil Helmuth. There's a bunch of guys that if they are, if Phil Helmuth gets stuck 15 or 20,000, and it's a couple of bad beats, it's far better. Like, yeah, right now, case. I want running sevens. Yeah, that would be the best way. You know? I don't want the ace. I don't want the diamond. I want running sevens and Helmuth to get felted. So, I don't think Helmuth is deep enough for Sorrell to fold. I mean, I think Sorrell knows that Helmuth is going to be fairly strong here, but he does have an over uh, as well as his flush draw. And it's enough flush draw. He could easily be up against, like, King Jack of Diamonds. Helmuth could make a play like that. Kemi could have four or five of diamonds yeah, no, where it looks like a huge draw, but then Mizzy's really crushing it. So uh, I don't think Sorrell will fold. Unl I mean, I don't think Helmuth is that deep, is he? He's not like over six or seven thousand. No, he only bought in for, I mean, he bought in for five and then re bought for another 5K. Yeah. I don't know why you can't say that. That's good. I, I mean, when I said that on on stage one time, like I got like two groans, like two <laughs> full on, like oh, it's too real. Okay. Well, it's if you want, it's the kind of thing that if you want to know what the the last one was, the come, last come porn see my stand up. Yeah, or just come yeah come down to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We'll be at the bar later. You can ask. Fair enough. I'll tell you that. Is that where we're gonna be? Oh, that'd be awesome. I'd love to drink with you guys later. I assume. It's my last night. I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, then for sure. You going to Barcelona? No, I'm going back to Vegas. We're going to Burning Man. Oh, oh nice. Man. I just offered you I just offered you some whiskey, and you waved me off. Yeah, you know. He's saving up. Not right now. Okay. I f I'm feeling healthy right it's now. It's a little real clear. in Burning Man. Well, yeah, that, that too. I'm very surprised that Sorrell... Oh, okay, he did raise. No, he went. he's going with it. So that's 3,500. I thought that, uh, I thought that he called... Is Helmuth still thinking about this? I mean, you're not, you're not raising with King Queen to fold, are you? Uh, let me tell you this. If Phil folds here, it would be uh, a, an atrocity worse than any slaughter we've seen in some time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understand not. I don't. I understand not raising. Check calling the bet, whatever you want to do it. But I'm not raising to fold. Right. So, one of the, for you guys at home, I mean, Helmuth is the best, and he's going to figure this out because he's the best. But. <laughs> 
Why are um, you saying that with air quotes? <laughs> <laughs> but but have a plan. And it's one of those things where okay, I could race a twelve hundred there, here, and maybe I'll fold or thirteen or what have you. But to race a two thousand, he's just always going to be getting good enough price. Okay, he has a five K chip, so he actually has like a fair amount of money behind. And it is a little frightening uh, with what Sorrel, Sorrel has done and how many hand is not all that strong here. Which is exactly why you just don't raise to 2,000. Because you're just going to get abused by exactly what Sorrel has. And you're not going to get anything worse to call. There's just almost zero value in his play. Like, even if you're the bluffing, I should reward you and just fold this. Like, you deserve it. You, you know what I mean? And then maybe you'll give me a big stack like you did the <laughs> See, if you can't have a victory now, just relive past glories. Yes, it's incredible. I feel like I should reward you with this. It's going to be hard to get the other people drawing dead in a big pot. You're the only one who I can get dead, I think. <laughs> I got to reward you. I'll let you bluff me up. Good bluff, buddy. And Phil... Wow. Please show just the seven words to the... The best of it, excuse me. Here comes the seven of diamonds. Yep. Oh, no. There it is. <laughs> nope. Anyone want to buy up for 100? Nope. <laughs> nope. No? Uh, nope. No? Nobody buys that he has the seven deuce. Uh, let's go. You know how uh, yeah, in uh, North Korea, Korea when Kim yeah, Jong un yeah, comes like, into the room, they all yeah. shout, uh, live 10,000 years good. over and over again? That's what they chant. I've heard about that. I would. I, that's how I feel about Phil Hammond Jr. I want him to live 10,000 years. I want him to never stop playing poker. He is my god. He is. I wouldn't put it past the guy like this. I Although I will say, if you're going to troll, if you're going to be a hater on the internet, it's best to be creative. In fact, if you are creative, it, it's actually appreciated. That was good. I mean, that's well played by him. Yeah, I retweeted I a guy it. once who said that he wished he made more money so he could hire someone to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and my friends were like, yo, don't, don't mess around with that. Like, you got to take these threads seriously. And I was like, obviously the guy's broke. Like, who cares? <laughs> Didn't you hear the tweet? He doesn't have enough. A couple of years ago, and a guy wrote back, uh, "Who cares what you think, you fat bearded walrus?" <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it great the ones that stick with it. you? That's worth it. Like, fat bearded that walrus. That was good. I like that one. By the way, you told you're not fat. You're wearing, he's wearing a tight T-shirt. It looks good. It's uh, it's all relative. Oh, who's better than Sam? No one. No one's yeah. better than Sam. <laughs> King Queen, sure. And of all the people that, uh, so Glance will shut down just about everywhere, but Glance might look up Sam just because he doesn't want to get Dentalied. It's amazing how she pulled that off, but it's called getting Dentalied. Like, he is going to... Right. He's going to rape the benefits of having it named after him. So how many bets? 500 into 27. It's a very strange bet. Uh, he's just basically hoping that uh, not only does no one have a better hand, but also that no one has any poker ability and will just allow this to happen. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, normally I'm not raising Abernathy, not only as top pair, but now as a flush draw. Um, Helmuth uh, has two outs. This normally I'm not raising with King-Queen on that board when there's so many right. players in the pot. But when the guy bets 500 in the 27, I almost view it as a check. Right. Well, yeah, that's essentially, it's very similar to a check. I mean, all that really is different is that he reached back to his stack. Well, the amount of chips put in the pot were not plentiful. He's all in. Man. Just in the tank. Can we curse on this stream? Yes. Okay, because this is just no fucks given. I just absolutely love it. And this is a spot where I personally would much prefer a call from Sam. Yeah. This um, seems weird. But what's she getting? I mean, she's not getting. Is she getting called by anything worse than hers? No, that's what yeah. seems worse. Is she getting it. anything better than hers to fold? No, nah, that's why I don't like it. And she has a spade draw, so you know she can just sit there and, Phil, and just call, call. I don't know what you had, Phil. but it's just funnier because it's against Phil. Your mouth is burning. <laughs> burning. I don't think <laughs> Phil's really in the position to be calling somebody else. Kind of a, a wimp. <laughs> weird that you, with the it's weird that you didn't end up in the military or something like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what do people think? I want to go back in time and and back. try and like just examine Helmy when he was in his twenties. He won the main event. Like he must have been riding high. He must have been gambling. Like I've never seen Phil like really gamble. Well, just imagine like remember how Ryan Reese after he won right and like how inflated he was at the time. Imagine Ryan Reese, but then no one really to ever put him in his place. That's <laughs> Phil Hellmuth. Like, because there really was no one else at the time. 
to do that. Like he got to stay on top and keep that ego the same size for really, really so for so long that there was no chance it was ever coming back down. There. Yeah, I'm surprised that they haven't done more studies on Phil. <laughs> I took a narcissist one time and nailed it. Narcissist test, nailed it, crushed it. Yeah. hundred percent. On on the on the narcissist test. On the just, side just on, the, on which side of it? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever's the best <laughs> score you can get, I got it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't that one either. Oh wow, Seagull. Oh come on. I really want eights to come out. Of course, if it's like three quarters of Phil's stack. This is not the best play from Seagull. I'm the only I root for Phil Helm. He's the best. Oh. He's actually the best. I'm actually really curious to see what Phil does. Phil, it's too tough to beat Jax. It's just above us. It's just all the above us. I've been doing it all. I've got at least four. Oh, my goodness. Phil's at $200. <laughs> I mean, I guess he only has like another 200 right? Is that right? He's got more than that. I was saying he has to. No. Is it a 5K chip that he has? Is Seagull still in there? Yeah, well, for 200. This hand is hilarious, <laughs> by the way. Which oh, is going like, to be so bad when he goes runner, runner straight. Oh, oh man. Is here anybody not rooting for a 10 here? <laughs> here we go. Get the popcorn. This is legitimate. This is legitimate excitement in the booth, everyone. This is this is real. I was rooting he, for Phil till I realized this was a possibility, and now I'm just, all right, screw it. Come on, 10. Yes, I want the 10, too. I'll take a five. I don't want to be greedy. Oh, no. Oh, the jack's good. <laughs> it's not as bad, oh but it still beats him. Yeah, right, right. right. It's, it's not as fun, but... It's only worth it if he freaks out. And he doesn't freak out. He doesn't freak out, freak out that much anymore. Let's enjoy this. Can we get some chips here? Rebuy. At least you were in second. <laughs> this is the only reason I came on the show. I know, I'm right next to him. I can feel the heat. <laughs> <laughs> We're postponing another half an hour. Is that even real money? You lost me. Send a text to Dan. He's not getting on the show. By him, you have to pay a lot of money to play with the best sports athlete. Guys, Jen wants to know if we can play a 545. Jen, as far as I'm concerned, we don't take dinner break. We can eat. I have breaks for playing ball. I have to call. I need to. Yeah. Lock the doors. How about a couple of The crew can't. The crew needs a break. They can't film, but we'll play anyway. I don't need to eat. I can live off my fat. And you're against certain opponents. You could make an argument for checking that back. Because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, what can you get called by? I'm closing that's worse? my eyes so I can visualize. Right. This. If you had Queen Jack there, what could you get called by? That's worse. The pot's already nineteen thousand dollars. Okay. She had top set. <laughs> like if one of your opponents had King Ten. But you what else was out there? There was probably, probably a flush out there. Right, so quads. Maybe, that's what I'm saying. If, if, hey, <laughs> yeah. There were no quads out there. Wait, no, there were no quads? No, because then she would have an aces right, let me Let me rethink this then. Let me rethink that, that check. I mean, if we think our opponent has king 10, maybe they would have, maybe they would have, like, you know, done something before the river. I, 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 it's good. It's, it's Jennifer F. Until I have to take, look, I have to take the other side. There's right. got to be point, counterpoint. I got it. I'm with you. Help me with the top pair. Agree with each other. Jackie. Just kind of like, let's play devil's advocate and let's, let's talk just it through. talk it out, yeah. Like, is there ever a reason to check that back? No. Turns out she wasn't going to get called anyway, but she doesn't know that. Affleck bet 1200 How many? Not very deep. He's in this game for $15,000. And that is likely to be what he leaves this game. Except for that check. No, no. I've got, yeah, but, I mean, I've got nothing but love for her. I mean, how many times I watched her movies as a, as a, as a small child growing up? It was just phenomenal. What, really? Oh, I what love movies? Just, there were so many. Can you even like, name a Jennifer Tilly movie right now? Uh, top <laughs> wow, seriously. <laughs> oh. There's one. Where's the one? Uh, oh, liar, the, liar. That wasn't the one I was thinking of, though. No, I'm thinking of an even older one than that. There's one where... The one with her and Richard Dreyfuss. Uh, easy money. So the horse racing one. What's it called? That's... Uh, and I was thinking... There's, there's one where there's, like... There's some, there's some bisexual action going on. 
Oh, bound. Thank you. So you weren't, yeah, there you go. Brian's in with bound. But you, you, I assume you weren't a very small child. No, I wasn't that small. Watching, watching bound. I don't yeah. really I see the appeal. Small. Yes, okay. I actually had a... Is that Gersh, Gina Gersh? Gershon, yeah. Gershon, whatever? Gina Gershon. I had a, like a very hilarious experience watching Liar Liar, where, and I'm going to have to cuss here, guys. Sorry about this, but I was watching the movie Liar Liar, and there was this woman alone in the theater a few rows back to me, and every time Jim Carrey would get himself into a new situation, she would go, she would go, oh, shit, Jim. How you going to get out of this one? Oh, shit. Oh, you just, you just, more speed that cop just pulled you over, Jim. How you going to get out of this one now? Phil's going with it, and there's a 6-8. Phil's drawn dead. Oh, shit, Phil. How you going to get out of this one? Oh, shit, yo. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, Phil. In for a hundo. Tell me, three is 300 with ace-9. Tell me, loves the old ace-9. I don't fax with that. Now we're even, JG. Oh, come on in, Silverman. <laughs> Looks like PBF is in. Come on, all the cool kids are doing it. Call, call. Ian O'Hara is going to need to have two blanks. Wow, he folds the king four despite getting ridiculous pot odds. I bet a normal amount he can raise all He would have flopped top pair, and it would have been the best hand. Womp, womp. Well, he's got the best hand here with ace jack. He made a pair of jacks on the flop. Both Silverman and Sideman had their seven. What's going on here? Yeah, just be frustrated. Checks around. That's the only way for me to win that pot, to say all in. Deuce on the turn. But I didn't have the heart to say it. Who was the guy who used to bet quack quack all the time? What Jeff Gross do? picks up a flush draw. Paul McGraw. 22, I just thought of him. He always bet the two, in the twos. I have not seen Paul McGraw in a long time. 23. I haven't thought of that name in almost a decade. Right from 22. For some inexplicable reason, Phil Helmuth has bet here, thinking he can get four folds. Not very likely. And what would Helmuth bet now that he wouldn't continue with on the flop? Torelli calls. I don't think Silverman can stick around with third pair. Nope. Conversely, wow, Jeff Gross folds the flush draw. People actually fold flush draws? Not when I play. <laughs> no. <laughs> Another jack on the river for Torelli. Helmuth wisely waves the white flag. That's really messed up. I was going to say the exact same thing. Really? Like, I was about to just say that. I would say that we share a brain, but that would mean that we both have half a brain. Actually, that's probably generous. I'm going to get a speech after this end for sure. <laughs> Tell me calls. Wow. Phil puts on the cape. <laughs> Oh, that had me beat. Oh, it did? Okay. It immediately falls flat on his face. Okay. Thought I got lucky on you in the end. No, you did not. Pair of jacks was good. Oh, man. I am kind of in stun mode over here. So, all right, well, then maybe it's not. Mm. Which really sucked. That hurt. <laughs> it did hurt. Didn't feel good? No. Okay. You're I believe still ahead for the year, though, Phil. I'm always ahead for the year. All right, no crying. It's hard. To, I mean, the, the game's so swingy, though. You know, it's like unbelievable. You can play perfect. Well, not, not me, but like. Has perfect been figured out in that game yet? Not, not even being oh. sarcastic. Closer. I don't know. Closer. Closer, but it's not perfect. Closer. All right, Phil. There are some computer programs that are, you know, that are out there. I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty good at, at so it, but then when I play all the best players, I lose. But I beat everybody else. A pair of eights for Ross. Open-ended for Phil Helmuth and Corvin with nada. Is Jason any good? I was playing him for a little bit, Phil, but then I stopped, so if he's not. Who Jason? Jason Calacanis. Mercier murdered me. Calacanis is, uh, <laughs> is okay. I, I think you're probably better than he is. Another 10 on the turn. Phil Helmuth has said something nice to you. He's really nice. 15 hundy from Helmuth. I have a good rapport. Over to Mike Ross. I just want it to end. Like, I just want you to fold next time. But I don't mind if you call. Call's OK, too. How about a raise? <laughs> I would not be in love with the raise, but. All right. Just talk you into it, huh? Wow. Just a call to the river.
Helmuth whiffs. A pair of eights is good. Does Helmuth give it up? All in. No. How much is it? 5,150. Miserable, miserable, miserable. 46. No, no, more. Oh. 5150. I don't want to fold here, obviously. Well, I'm just doing cartwheels you didn't snap call. Snap call is very bad for me. I'll take this one, you take the next one. That's my line. That's my line. <laughs> maybe on maybe I got it from you a long time ago. I definitely ago. heard I Phil say that. I don't know. <laughs> definitely said that. I made a great bet here. It's a fantastic bet. Yeah, I think it's a great bet. And I gave you 4,000 before, which is miserable, so I'd hate to give you more, but you might be thinking that. Should we do the old flip a coin trick? You know, we've seen that many a times. What do you think? As TJ Cloutier would say, do as you please. You want me to flip a coin and make the, the, decide on that? You make the decision. You want me to flip a coin and decide on the call based on heads or tails? I say this, do as you please. All right, you win, Phil. Over, I, I fold, over, I fold, fell. I fold. Oh! Yeah. You had me. Yeah, I Oh, had you it. had me. I knew I you had an I eight, had and I was like, oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh. I like it. <laughs> All right, well, let's play with Alan and Phil, two guys I can't beat. The Ross boss is in, croon out. I had the sevens, Alan, I really thought. Really thought. Were you gonna do something count. crazy? You were uh, never doing anything no, crazy. You no, were looking no, for I a can't. sad. You I had three that. players, <laughs> Talmuth, Richardson, and Ross. Who knows what the turn card might Sounds be. like a bad, real Those bad law firm. <laughs> Six hundred. Ross is gonna raise his top pair. Alan Richardson bet 600 and then immediately was brought up to 1500 from Ross. A call from Helmuth. This isn't the way I thought this hand was gonna play out though. I checked for a very specific reason. <laughs> to get me to throw 1500 in there. Don't think you can fold spades. You could maybe re-raise though if you're bored of just calling. You're both way behind anyway. Richardson elects to just call. This pot is over 5K. Could be the biggest pot of the night. And Phil gets there on the turn, but will Spades re-get there? Ross drawing dead. Check. Everybody's checking. Spades got a chance on the river. It doesn't happen for Richardson. Helmy checks, desperately hoping for a bet. Check. Ross is going to attempt to bring it on down to Valueville. How much? Phil, of course, doesn't have the nuts, but he's going to be pretty confident he's got the best hand. We are very likely to see a raise. I'm all in. Easy fold for Richardson, assuming he hasn't misread his hand. Hi, right, Cole. Just a straight. You own me, Phil, you own me. Wow. Right, King Jeff. Now, Phil Hellmuth was just lying. He had said, I'll take the first one, you take the next one. He didn't give him right, the next 24. one. He got them both. Are Woo! we about to see Phil Hellmuth have a televised poker win? You own me, Phil, you own me. You uh, own me. That was lucky. Was the fun. What? Lucky. Imagine how much you'd be winning if the cards just broke even. Imagine how much I'd be winning if Alan didn't get away with all the ace six against ace jacks all night. <laughs> yes, everyone, one day Phil Helmuth will have played please. enough poker that the cards will eventually break even. He just hasn't played quite enough yet. I feel like when this cash game is done, for those of us that aren't playing the tournament, we should all go have one or 500 drinks. I'm down. How much, four? 
locked in and 100%. All right. I might play the tournament tomorrow. Getting late in the evening, I'm and so hell you may be getting a tad loosey goosey calls with King Eight of Spades. We'll have plenty of sleep. <laughs> we can like sleep in. Yes, Maria. Yes, we're we're all going out with you after this, and you're buying. <laughs> all right. You know, I've been out to dinner with it's Maria really several times, and every single though. time she offers to pay, I let her because I'm a feminist. It's awfully big, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, most people won't let that go down. I just happened to run into you. I had to be practically beg you. And by beg, I mean you were already there before I was there. Scotty <laughs> likes a drink. I only went out three nights all of PC, and she saw me plastered every all three times. Every night. Every night. Not every night. Three times. Every night that I saw you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Which, Damn, that makes statistically really speaking, bad. like, makes bad me Bad spot for Phil Helmy that with top pair against an over pair. Could have been all night. It really wasn't, I promise. I and he is going to lead I into this, I just doing Rep Porter's yeah, job yeah, for him. I was having so much fun. That last will Rep I call or will he pop it up? Still had a great time. Pop, 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 pop. Really? Or what, what, was this the last night at Aura then? You like that, fella? You like the way it goes pop, 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 pop in your mouth? Oh, thanks, man. Rep wants a little bit more money out of Phil. He raises it to 2700 Man, one of these days, the cards will break even, more. Phil. One of these days. I wonder what the end of Phil Hellmuth's glasses earpiece tastes like. Gross. <laughs> I mean, I don't wonder enough that I actually want to taste it for myself. I was going to say, we could arrange that. I'm sure. just speculating. All right, what say you, Rep Porter? A little river value. How much pretty sweet little bet? Gonna be tough for Phil to get away from this. Come on, Phil, here you go. Two aces. It's always aces. Oh, quiet, Phil. Quiet Phil makes me sad. You almost feel bad for him. <laughs> Almost. No, I do. I'm serious this time. Look at him. Feels so unfair. <laughs> go, wait, here we go. <laughs> Even I get the best hand sometimes. I've seen it. If I can do it, you can definitely do it, Rap. <laughs> I think Scott Ball should continue to laugh sitting right next to him. Feels so unfair. My God. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Keep it coming. And you got the value bet on when the nine paired, which is very likely I have nine, ten of hearts there. Yes, yes, we... Well played. Do we have, thank yep. you. Do we have more um, means it. champagne over there, or are we out? Mike Ross raises with ace ten. We would take those and one more bottle. So much champagne at the table tonight. I don't champagne want to from my real so friends like, and real pain from my sham I friends. Her, she won't come over. I'm like, I don't think that's good. Oh. I don't think so. Well, maybe if he points right at you. I'm so tilted today. Thank you. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He hops the fence with 5-7. It feels a little ridiculous to me. All right, Check. what do we got here? Top pair for Bart, gut shot for Maria, up and down for Phil. Not enough hearts for Maria's liking, though. She's out of here. Fun water. Oh, yeah, I'll take a lot. Take Ross well, bet 800. Please. He gets a call You're from Helmuth. Is it 800? I check. Top pair, still good. See if he can slide past the check. turn. Top pair, still, still good. Checks around. Top two pair, now good. 2,500. And Helmuth with no showdown value at all, is trying to steal his pot on the river. I don't hate it. If somebody calls, he's going to. <laughs> that is absolutely true. There's no way Bart can fold. It's really hard for him to be beat here, but he can't raise either because the only hands that can call are hands that do have him beat. He's got to worry just a bit, though, because he's not closing the action. Good call, you got it. Eh, it's tough to bluff a guy who rivers top two. Sorry, Phil. Still waiting for those cards to break even. It, it doesn't. It doesn't seem nearly as hard when you're I actually agree, right. there. I've gone deep in the in a bunch of the one Ks, not a bunch, but several, and it doesn't feel any harder to get deep in a four thousand person field as it does a 
four hundred person. Field. Yeah, you're right because you're playing basically the same amount of time. You're just playing the same amount of time. It's just right. everybody else is just getting knocked out. I agree one hundred percent. We've got pocket aces for world's greatest, and he limps. Let's see where this goes. My biggest regret in tournament poker, I bought into the five k. I was playing cash, and this was the day before the first one drop. Or like, and the uh, one drops a million dollar buy in tournament. By the way, tournament, ladies and gentlemen, kind of a big deal. Here and brush up my tournament skills. Anyways, I go deep. I ended up finishing 11th or 15th or something. That's not the point. The point is, I ended up finishing the day right before the one drop. I had no rest, yeah. totally exhausted. Yeah. And I remember the next day stepping in here, and, I, and at the end of that day, I made a huge mistake um, against Gus Hansen. Cost me like half my chips. Um, it was a bummer. It, and in hindsight, I was like, wow, why did I not? Um... That is definitely somewhere, something that the pros have an edge over. Oh if, my god! If they're, uh, oh my god! Absolutely. Is just maintaining focus deeper into tournaments. Than... Yeah. No, I totally agree. Phil does not continue the flop. He was the last aggressor. Especially superstars like him, like, he goes deep. You give you do deep. Let's so get much. it all in, buddy. It's going in on the turn. Win it. Win it. Two over cards against my wired pair. Impressive. Let's see what happens, Phil. Very impressive here. You want two high rollers? There's, I mean, 18 and 23 people or something. Still, 18, 23, good players. Yeah. Probably like five, four or five. I checked. Not, I yeah, one one I played was soft, and then one was hard. You played the one drop? I'm all in. Call. I played the one this year, yeah. The 100K one. The 100K, not the million. Go. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's sweat it for the fans. Oh, my good God. Uh, what are we rooting for? Eight? I have a seven. I need seven. a seven. We need a seven? Seven and seven only. Dealer, can you find a seven? Dealer, can you find yes. a seven in the deck? Oh, please don't find say a seven. yes. Please, seven. please. Uh, seven, please, seven. please, please. Oh. Uh, run it again. One more time. Don't say yes. Well, I can tell you that Chamath is one very charitable person. <laughs> uh, under 1,000 and over 10,000, you have to show the hand. <laughs> I'll allow it. The Phil Helmuth adjustment. <laughs> okay, we all agree. The it's pot been ratified. Has, the pot has to be over 10,000 for, then you can show the hand. But then are we limiting what people can look at on the live stream? How about this? Everything, and, everybody. No, no. And well under 1,000, you have to show the hand. No, let me just finish, Chamath. I, we all agree with that. But are we limiting whatever anybody learns on the live stream that's going to do the research? They have to Who share it with us. Who's researching the live stream? Yeah, I'm not going to research. I'm not going to research. research. Why don't we all stack our phones? Raise your hand if you're not going to research. Stack the phones over there in the corner. Yeah, What's I say we deal? stack Everybody phones. Everybody agree stack not phones, to stack man. the phones. No, no, stack phones. It's not about that. We have to. Well, trust. you're the one who's casting on their phone, so we stack phones. I say we stack phones. Hey, by the way, J.K. Let's we, play. There's such a thing oh, as having let's somebody's Let's play. Word, no more seeing my hands. Let's play. Exactly. Let's play. Let's play. Are we, no, you can loosen it up oh. a bit. No, I'm going to loosen it up now for sure. <laughs> let's play. No more hands will be seen. No. That's it. Yeah, no hands. Dude. No hands. Yeah, let's yeah, play. Yeah, yeah things are getting aggressive. Anyway, so. I yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah let's play. Yeah, I agree. Over 10,000. No, 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 no. No show and everybody stack phones. Yeah, no show and everybody stack phones. The only thing that you that's should show it. is if you bluff Phil. I mean, that's really... That's yeah, you, you can still show. Yeah, show, show especially it's up if you bluff to you if you want to show. You don't have to show is the point. No more small ball, boys. Just for fun. Time to put on the big boy pants. Yeah, big boy pants, for sure. Game's in the muck. What are you doing, J.K.? Get out of my pot. I'm just hanging out for a little bit. Just a little bit longer. Go ahead. Bet me out. Oh, I should just let the four roll off the turn. He does not have the best hand, but he's got a lot of outs. I play bad. What do you have, ace You got me there. I now I say check. nothing. Yeah, I now I say nothing. I don't think I can bet you out, so. He Ooh. gets there, oh, gets sick there. Sick river. That should do it. That should do it. Easy peasy. A set for Calicanus on the river and a straight for Helmuth on the river. What do you say, Phil? You want to make the donation? Or are you popping it? I hope somebody bets a Tesla in the next 18 seconds. <laughs> oh, the tank fold. Classic Phil Helmuth tank fold. God. Right about now, the chat stream is going crazy for the tank fold. The tank raise. Wow. Did you hit your set? Your sneaky little sneak sneak? How much more? I don't see Phil raising here without the nuts pretty much ever. Pull the one in for me. Thanks, dealer. Sneaky sneaker. Wow. <sighs> 
28? Uh, Bill, you want the call or no? Yes. I feel like he got his set. Sit there and don't say anything if you want a call. That's not a call, that is a raise. What is that? What is, like what, is, what is it? I'm, not, is I'm it, out of it, I'm what, out of it. What is it, Odie? I was just asking whether you were All right, I'm all in. We both have nine, 10, I guess. Oh, ah. you don't. All in and a call, Helmuth is gonna double up through Calacanis. Not even sure he realized there's a straight out there. Let's see the one-time bandit. Suddenly I'm starting to realize how Phil Helmuth has been able to survive as a pro all these years. You like free stuff? I'm betting you said yes. Hey, it's Chris Hansen. We have a brand new free app, a poker app, the Poker Night in America downloadable app. You can find it in your app store. The links are in the descriptions below. We're always giving free stuff away on the app. You can play against people from all over the world. So what are you waiting for? My mother would appreciate it if you would download our new app today. You guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, uh, how about this video next? Or, or what about this one? Is this a f joke?